Hello YouTube, I'm Bill Hensley and this, this is an exciting day. I was actually en route to go check on another uh, DC fast charger. I was gonna be posting another video, which I still will do, but I just got a call from my dealership. They called me because they wanted to test out the, the DC uh, fast charger that's been broken forever at my dealership. They say they just got it fixed and they've got the guy there who just fixed it. And before they send him back to uh, wherever he came from, they want me to test it out and see if it's working. So I'm like, heck yeah. So I'm turning around, I'm heading towards my dealership right now, and I'm going. we're gonna go try out this uh, DC fast charger and hope to God that this thing's working because it's the only one in the Lewiston Auburn area. And if it's up and working again, I'm gonna be so happy. I am like so excited right now with just the possibility that this thing is up and running. So. All right, I'll, I'll report more on it when I uh, get there. <laughs> See you soon. All right, here we are, we're at Lee. Let's go check this thing out, see if it's working. Here we go, I'm plugged in. Here's the uh, moment of truth. <laughs> here. I'm going to wait for it. <laughs> Alright, plug in. Oh, wow, look at that. There we go. It's up to uh, 90 amps. Oh, but we had an error, but that's okay. We're going to fix this. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so happy that this thing is getting fixed. And I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> of course, it's like 25 degrees out today, so it's freezing. <laughs> Got some bugs to work out, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're still trying to get this thing working right now, but this is what it looks like on the inside. That is so cool, look at that. Uh, I'm sure we'll get it figured out. I mean, they got this guy, they, they flew him in from Korea, I believe. I'm gonna ask before he leaves, but uh, yeah, they flew this guy in from Korea. They're fixing the DC fast charger here. So before I leave, we should be able to get this thing pumping 99 amps into the car. So <laughs> fingers crossed. All right, we just changed out another part, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit ready in Chadmio. And let's see what happens. Give it a few seconds here. go 45 80 90 oh awesome there we go it's it's working for the first time in months this quick charger is working and it is quick the current is 113 point 114 amps wow you did it awesome thank you so much <laughs> and there I go this fast charger here in Auburn, Maine, the fast charger at Lee Nissan in Auburn, Maine is fixed. I am so happy to be reporting this. I am the first one charging right after it's been fixed. And you can see I'm at 72% right now, 84 miles, and I'm getting a quick charge here. I'm just gonna keep recording. You, you'll, you'll see it change from 72 to 73 in just a moment. It is fast charging for the first time in Auburn. This is, this is a lifesaver to finally have this thing fixed it, it, it's a blessing and I'm so happy that 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 he flew out from Korea <laughs> to fix this machine that is just it's crazy to yeah there we go 73% ah oh, thank God 
This is so cool. This is this is a happy day. <laughs> now, I'm not going to stand out here for very long because it is really cold today. Like it's in the 20s, but you can see right here, I'm 86% charged. I've been plugged in for 17 minutes. It's starting to slow down. The amperage is way down now. It's back down to like 38, but this this fast charger was never above like 22, 23 amps from uh, start to finish. So, but yeah, it's at 86%, so it's starting to, to go down there, And that, but that's what fast chargers do. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna unplug somewhere around like 90% or so, but yeah, I gotta get back in the car. It is freezing out today. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I just, it, it just seems too good to be true. And I've done a lot more driving today. As you can see, it's the evening now. And you know, I could use another charge. I'm in like the 30% range right now on the vehicle. So, you know, it just feels like Christmas came early. And I just, I gotta try this. It, it's so cool to have one of these in Lewiston, Auburn. <laughs> so, yep, Chad Mio, let's do that. Let's go ahead and plug this in and just see if it's still working. <laughs> All right, so we're plugged into the car there. And there we go. And I'm so used to seeing usually just like 22 amps or, or something like that. Let's see what this thing does now. Should be back up to the, uh, there we go, 44, 54, 60, 70, <laughs> 90, 102, 105, 110, 113. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 365 volts, 114 amps, 33% charge. Let's see how long it takes to charge the car up to 80%. <laughs> and it's still freezing cold, so I'm going back in the vehicle. <laughs> and here we are, inside the car. Let me turn down the uh, heat there for just a moment. Yeah, as you can see, uh, it's low temp outside. <laughs> and it's, uh, it is, it's 21 degrees out. It is freezing cold. But I am able to get a quick charge. And right now, yeah, it says 33 miles because I've got the heat on. If I were to uh, turn the heat off here, you'll see that jumps up to uh, 42. So, so definitely heat or air conditioner. It takes a little bit off of your range, but you know what? This is awesome. We, we finally have a quick charger in Auburn, Maine. And I am going to be able to uh, quickly get this car back up to 80% or more in less than a half an hour. And as you can see here, I've only been hooked up for six and a half minutes. I'm already up to 52%. That's from 32, 33%. So it's seven minutes. <laughs> that is really quick. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally have this thing working. I mean, we are smack dab in the middle of uh, Portland and Augusta, and this is the only DC fast charger in the area. And it's and it only supports Chadmio. So for people who need the CCS connection, unfortunately, there is nothing in Lewiston Auburn as of right now that can support anything but the Chadmio. So so it's it's nice that it's working and it works for me, but I still want to see like an EV Go system put in at either the Hannafords or Shaw's or it would be really nice to have more than just one uh, lonely DC fast charger in the Auburn area. But for now, this is great and it works and you know, I've I've gone since July without this here, but it's it's just nice to have this as an option when and if you need to uh, fast charge. So I'm going to get ready to disconnect here, but just before I do, I wanted to zoom in on the screen here. I have been hooked up for just about a half an hour. It's been going for 29 minutes and 27 seconds. I'm at an 87% charge, or at least that's what this says on the outside here. We can uh, verify that when I turn on the car, but at any rate, a half an hour. I went from 33% uh, above 80%, I'm at 87%, and it's it's still charging. It's still charging at a current that's greater than what it used to to be at, which was uh, 22 when it was broken. So, but it, it always drops down when you get closer to uh, 80, 90, and 100%. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to uh, hit the stop button here and call it good.
And I'll just get a quick recording here as I turn the vehicle back on. Where did we land? <laughs> back up to 108 miles and 91%. <laughs> so at 91%, 108, that's, that's great. Awesome. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> this is Bill Hensley, and I am signing off.